Hello, this is Gina, a violin instructor in Sacramento, California. Thank you for your supporting and warmest words always, as always. Um, yeah, that really helps me to keep making videos and upload videos. I'm sorry that I upload the videos a little bit slowly, but I really, really think a lot, get some ideas in creative way to explain concepts in teaching. I'm really glad my videos help some people who really need help for their learning progress. But at the same time, uploading videos on YouTube channel means they are exposed to people who can just take my idea and then copy and use it for their own because there is no copyright thing or you know if they don't mention about me then it just it can be just like theirs which is not true so there is always risk about my ideas can be taken away so I'm just taking all the risk and unloading the videos to help some people who need it. So really thank you for uh, supporting and giving like really, really nice words. And yeah, like, uh, yeah, thank you so much. So I want to talk about the shifting today, shifting from first position to third position. First of all, let's just go to the practice together right away. On the A string, I'm gonna upload uh, the shifting practice on A string today. Uh, and later, I'm gonna upload other strings as well. So A string, you know the finger pattern, right? So let's play A, B, C, natural D. So listen carefully, the D, the tune. And then with your eyes, check where is your third finger. That's the spot that your first finger will go. The destination that first finger will go. And then lift off your second finger and third finger. You still draw first finger, which is B on A string. And then do you remember slide up and down? And then when we practice tracked vibrato in uh, vibrato practice, so imagine your elbow folded up towards your face. So we'll go like this, but make sure. So use your elbow and then play B first. Clearly listen to the B and then remember the D tune. And then play the D one more time clearly. And then before you shift up, slightly off your finger. So you barely touch the string. Then you will feel your finger loosen up, your hand loosen up your thumb loosen up you will feel a lot of relaxation in your hand and then barely touch the string and then bring your hand up important thing you need to play the bow keep playing the bow and you will hear the d then drop firmly right there and play Yeah, so you shift from B to D. Let's go opposite, shift down as well. Play clearly D first. And then slightly off your finger. So barely touch the string and then shift down by elbow. Open. Listen all the way down, down, B, when you hear the B, drop firmly and play B. Yeah. 
So I'll show you whole progress, how to practice. When you shift, do very, very slowly so not to pass the destination. So you don't move your fingertip around, up and down. So just remember shifting, we should go all at once. So it's better practice by slowly. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Stop, drop firmly, play clearly. Don't pass, oh, don't go higher. <laughs> or, or sometimes we, we don't go there yet. So make sure you listen till the tune that you remember, our destination, so that our ear can be trained and also uh, our elbow uh, can be trained as well for the shifting. And then also when you shift, Try to move your elbow to the front side very slightly, gradually, not at the beginning. So that your four fingers can line up, even though they don't drop, but still looking at the one string, same string, line up, fingers. And then when we go shift down, finger, elbow will go a little bit back this side, gradually. So beginning is more front side. One more time. what happens if our elbow doesn't come out to the front other fingers kind of falling down under the violin neck so I want you to bring the elbow front when you go up so definitely slide up and down still it's a great exercise you can drop all four fingers slightly touch the string don't drop don't press all the way down slightly touch one string and then slide up down then you have to move your elbow you will find out try with me yeah so elbow movement gradually come to the front gradually coming back a little bit coming out front back and next do you feel comfortable with this there D with the first finger next note will be second finger E whole step next one F natural half step right next to next note G whole step farther and then let's go back shifting first position to third position third position to first position also finger pattern on third position on a string uh, if you have any question please feel free to ask you can leave comments or uh, you can just join the live stream and then ask me directly so i hope this help uh, for your shifting exercise and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time thank you